you feel any better, I coughed up everything but my kidneys on my first ride. Making a movie with a top actor like Tom Cruise, of course, isn't cheap, but that's hardly a problem for someone like Elon Musk, which is why he's taking their collaboration to the next level. And by the next level, in this case, we mean outer space. Let's take a look at what we know about the movie so far and what difficulties the camera crew could encounter once they're miles above planet Earth. You gotta admit one thing. Can't beat the view. Having a movie filmed entirely in outer space is definitely one way to ensure people consider it out of this world. Wow, that's written down and I read that. It's a movie few could afford, which is why this project has the financial backing of SpaceX founder and billionaire Elon Musk. Considering that the total cost to send his $100,000 Tesla Roadster into space was 90 million, maybe we shouldn't be that surprised that he's shipping Tom Cruise up there this time. Yes, Elon Musk is creating a movie in space and it's starring Tom Cruise. As crazy as it sounds, you're not imagining this. Details about the film itself are scarce, but Deadline confirmed that it's not part of the popular Mission Impossible franchise. And disappointingly enough, it's also not going to be the sequel to Top Gun, since Top Gun Maverick wasn't filmed in space. Obviously. In addition to having Tom Cruise in a leading role, the movie will be directed by Douglas Lehman, who's worked with Cruise before on movies like my personal favorite, Edge of Tomorrow. As of right now, the distributor of the film hasn't been announced yet, which is a little unusual. Lehman and Cruise were working on a project with Paramount called Luna Park, but the studio claims that's unrelated to the venture with Elon Musk. But getting a studio involved seems minor compared to getting NASA on board, which, by the way, they already are. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine confirmed the collaboration on Twitter, saying that the organization is looking forward to filming on the space station. Apparently, NASA hopes the movie will help people get even more interested in outer space and inspire a new generation of engineers and scientists. So remember kids, you can get to space by studying hard in school or becoming Tom Cruise. According to Bridenstine, the movie will likely be filmed on the International Space Station, which is located a convenient 250 miles above Earth. It's generally used for carrying out experiments or research, but soon it'll be a film set. Although it's not a Mission Impossible movie, they say, Deadline reports that it will be an action-adventure flick. And I can't be the only one excited to see what stunts Tom Cruise pulls off in outer space considering what we've seen him do on our own humble planet. The movie is being promoted as the first film to be filmed in outer space, but that's not actually the case. In 2008, Richard Garriott created Apogee of Fear while on board the International Space Station. More accurately, this will be the first feature-length movie filmed entirely in space. Anyway, according to Garriott, there are some serious difficulties when it comes to filming in space. His two-week stay on board the International Space Station costs $30 million. And oh, did I mention that Apogee of Fear is only about five minutes long? I don't even want to think about the bill this new movie is going to generate, but I've got a feeling Musk won't have a problem covering it. Garriott says putting together a competent crew and getting important shots is difficult on planet Earth, and it only gets harder and more expensive in space. Even just having the sets constantly fall out of place and dealing with the close quarters make things difficult. Plus, the space station is great for experiments, but in terms of filming quality audio, it's kind of a nightmare. It gets hot up there, so the station is filled with loud fans that producers won't want on their audio tracks. Plus, there's this little issue that everything not Velcro down tends to float around and create a huge mess, which slows down production. So, extra budget for Velcro. Tom Cruise has been in a lot of movies, but getting ready to go into outer space will be unlike anything he's ever done before. NASA has their astronauts go through extensive training, including scuba certifications and military water survival, just to get them ready to go for a walk in space. They have to pass swim tests, learn to cope with a lack of gravity, and undergo examinations to prove that they're in perfect health. Not only will crews have to go through all of this, but so will the camera crew and anyone else who needs to be on the set. NASA has their own rule regarding astronauts, but don't forget this is going to be one massive collaboration between Cruz, Musk, and NASA. Although NASA is willing to let private citizens access the International Space Station, it's not cheap. They've actually opened it up to tourists before at a low, low price of $35,000 per night. Although they haven't revealed the invoice for this particular cinematic venture. So what exactly is Elon Musk's role in all of this? I've got a feeling he'll tell us eventually, but for right now we know he thinks it should be a lot of fun. Filming a traditional movie can be a slow process, but when coping with the difficulties on a space station, it could take even longer. It will be interesting to see how this movie stacks up against other space-based films that rely on special effects instead of sending a whole crew up among the stars. What do you think about creating a movie in outer space? 
Is it just a gimmick to get people to tune in, or does it have the potential to be one of the greatest cinematic achievements of all time? Let us know what you think in the comments section below, and then click subscribe for more videos from us here at Screen Rant. Bye for now!